Today, Roger Penske is best known as a successful car owner and businessman. Penske Racing Field's Ryan Newman's Alltel Dodge, along with teammate Kurt Busch in the NASCAR Nextel Cup Series, where Penske Racing has won 57 times. In IndyCars, Penske Racing has won the Indianapolis 500 14 times, with driver Sam Hornish Jr. winning the race in 2006 en route to capturing Penske's first IRL IndyCar Series Championship. Roger Penske was one of the nation's leading sports car drivers in the early 1960s. In his best season, he won $34,000. Winning that kind of money, Penske knew that despite his success, his future was in business. Penske could have raced for Jim Hall's prestigious Chaparral team in 1964. Instead, he retired from driving at the age of 28 and bought out his partner to concentrate on operating a Chevrolet dealership in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. While his dealership thrived, his heart was still in motorsports. Penske returned to racing as a businessman, using the sport as a promotional vehicle. Roger Penske Racing Enterprises was born in early 1966, with Penske fielding a Sunoco Corvette at both Daytona and Sebring. While his team won its class at Daytona, Penske was still looking at overall victories. He signed rising star Mark Donahue to drive and landed the Sun Oil Company to sponsor his new Lola T70. All the pieces were in place and success followed. Donahue won three straight races in 1966, finishing second in the Can-Am Championship. Over the next two seasons, Donahue won 11 of 16 races to win back-to-back -back United States Road Racing Championships, while Donahue drove Penske's Sunoco Camaro to victories in 10 of 13 races in 1968, ending Ford's stranglehold on the series. Donahue repeated as Trans Am champion in 1969, winning his last six starts of the season. Donahue and co-driver Chuck Parsons captured America's sports car racing's crown jewel in 1969, winning the 24 Hours of Daytona in a Lola T70, beating the competition by 30 laps. Established as the top team in American sports car racing, Penske and Donahue turned their attention to other venues. Donahue was the Indianapolis 500 Rookie of the Year in 1969 and scored the first of Penske's 14 victories in America's biggest open wheel event in 1973. The duo also competed in NASCAR, with Dunhue driving a Penske Racing AMC Matador to victory in the 1973 opener at Riverside, California. In a moment, we'll talk about the continued success of Penske Racing in road racing. Hey, Ryan. Hey. Now they have my circle from Altel Wireless. You choose the people you call for free. Any number on any network. Any network, huh? Dale, Ryan Newman. Hey, did you hear the race is canceled? Yeah, that's the word. <laughs> cool. <laughs> race to win $500,000 in the My Circle 500 sweepstakes. Just text RACE to 67783. Yeah, Jeff, it's canceled. See ya. While Penske's success spread to IndyCars and NASCAR, the team continued to dominate the American road racing scene. In Trans Am, Penske Racing switched to the AMC Javelin. Donahue won seven races and the championship in 1971. Penske Racing dominated the SCCA Can-Am with the long-tailed Porsche 917. George Fulmer won five races in the 1972 championship when Donahue was hurt in a testing accident. Donahue returned the following year in an updated Porsche 917-30 to win six races and the title. Penske brought the car back for one final run in 1975 with Dunhue setting the world closed course speed record with a run of 221.160 miles per hour at Talladega Super Speedway. Penske partnered to form IROC, the International Race of Champions, in 1974 when many of the top drivers from all forms of competition competed in identically prepared Porsche Carreras. Donahue was not allowed to touch the cars, except for driving them in the races. He won three of four events, including the Daytona Finale, to become the first IROC champion. 
Over the years, Penske Racing has been a dominant force in American road racing, both in IndyCars and NASCAR, continuing a winning tradition that began in road racing with the partnership of Roger Penske and Mark Donahue.